Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to prove that the integral of the probability density function of the normal distribution is equal to 1. This is one of the properties of a continuous probability distribution, aside from the fact that their probability density function should be always greater than 0. Now let us start with our derivation. Integral of the probability density function, which is this one, e raised to negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared dx. This is from negative infinity to positive infinity, so we write here negative infinity to positive infinity. Now let us move this constant from the integration sigma integral of e raised to negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared dx negative infinity to positive infinity. Now let us do a transformation from x into z using the transformation function z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. Then x will become sigma times z plus mu. And dx will become, since z is the only variable in here, we'll have sigma dz. Then our transform integral is 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma integral of e raised to negative. For x, we'll use this one. Then minus mu. Then squared over 2 sigma squared. Then dx, we'll use this one. When x is negative infinity, z is negative infinity from this one and when x is positive infinity z is positive infinity observe that our transformation function is monotonically increasing so we should have no problem with our transformation now we can cancel out sigma sigma then plus mu minus mu so we're left with 1 over square root of 2 pi integral of e raised to negative square of this one will have sigma squared z squared over then this one 2 sigma squared then dz from negative infinity to positive infinity we can cancel out sigma squared and sigma squared then we're left with 1 over square root of 2 pi integral of e raised to negative z squared over 2 dz from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, this integral is similar to a Gaussian integral. Let me show you a Gaussian integral. Let me use the variable y. Now, this is a Gaussian integral. If you evaluate this integral, you will get square root of pi. If you are unclear about this one, I have a video that shows how to integrate this and show you that the value is square root of pi. The link is shown in the description below so you can check it out. Now, if you compare this one and this one, they are not exactly the same because here we have over 2 and here we don't have. So we need a transformation again to make this one same with this one. So what is our transformation function? Let me write here what we desire. This y squared to be equal to z squared over 2. Then our transformation function can be y equals to z over square root of 2. In that case, z will become square root of 2 y, then dz is equal to square root of 2 dy. Then our integral will be 1 over square root of 2 pi integral of e raised to negative z squared over 2, so we'll write here y squared. dz, we'll use this one, square root of 2 dy. Then if z is negative infinity, 
y is negative infinity and if z is positive infinity, y is positive infinity. Now, observe that our transformation function is monotonically increasing, so we should have no problem with our transformation. Now, let us cancel square root of 2 and 2 in here. So, we'll get 1 over square root of pi integral of e raised to negative y squared dy from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, if you compare this one and this one, they are the same. So, its value is square root of pi. Now, our final value is 1 over square root of pi times square root of pi. And square root of pi over square root of pi is equal to 1. So, we'll get 1. So this completes our proof that the integral of the probability density function of the normal distribution is equal to 1.